morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. We looked at the laundry list of stuff they were buying, and then we consulted experts in the field, and both the academic and, and in companies that supply defense material, and they, and they all told us, well, possibly peaceful uses, but 90% war uses. We also found a, a memo from this Chinese company saying, don't worry about the quality we supply the Chinese board of mission, of munitions. But I mean, things like gyroscopes, a lot of gyroscopes, accelerometers, those are not, they don't have peaceful use. And then tantalum, which is used for, for roadside bombs and also for warheads. I mean, there's no peaceful use for tantalum. Uh -huh. You know, that's disturbing in itself, but the most disturbing part to people, perhaps, is that um, Iran has been using American financial institutions to, like, try to avoid the sanctions that have been put in yeah. place against them to, to get money to buy these things. Right. How are they able to do that? Well, I mean, they went to, in the one case we made so far, <clears throat> they went to a big British bank, and they deposited a lot of money there, and the banking business is all about deposits. And then they said, we want you to transmit money to the United States so that we can buy things, and, and, uh, but we want you to conceal that it comes from Iran. Why would Iran use U.S. financial institutions to get their money? Why but, not go to another country who's not? Well, because, you know, 70% of the world's business is done in dollars. <clears throat> and manufacturers want to be paid in dollars. President Obama has said he wants to reach out to Iran and reopen talks with them. In light of what you found out, is that the best solution to deal with Iran's nuclear ambitions? Well, that's, that's beyond my, my pay grade. I mean, our, our, our intention is to enforce the law, to make sure that Iran is not illegally buying material for weapons of mass destruction, prosecute the people who are helping them do that, prosecute the people who were supplying the material, um, putting sunlight on what's going on. Well, thank you for your fine work, and thanks for being with us this morning, Mr. Morgenthau. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I think this is very important because I, I think it's later than you think. Um, I mean, I think on the long-range missiles, you know, by the, the fall, they'll be fully developed. And they don't have to have an atomic warhead. They can have a... a, a traditional explosive war and, and do a lot of damage to our troops in Afghanistan and, and Iraq and other countries in the Middle East. So we, we think it's very important to make this a priority matter and we want the public to know what's going on. Then what decisions are made is beyond us.